Before books. Before there were books, we told stories. Stories were the way we passed on knowledge to our children and their children. Storytellers were an important part of life. We still do this today. Older people shared information through stories and acting. They talked about plants, hunting, weather, seasons, history, and many other things. At some point, we realized we needed to record our stories and knowledge. People have great memories, but sometimes there is too much to remember. People needed a way to record things. They needed to write things down. It's impossible to remember everything. Early writing systems. At first, we drew pictures or used our handprints to record information, but people could not share this knowledge widely, as the information was only in one place. People needed a way to make copies of things and share them. The first stamps. The oldest way was to use stamps. People cut marks and lines on soft materials in the shapes they wanted. Then they put it in a liquid and pressed it on things. The stamps were used for art, to write messages, and to put names on things. These stamps could put patterns on clothes and print pictures and designs. Ink and wood blocks. Some people made a few really big stamps to print books. They were called block books. Later, the Chinese made many small wooden blocks to print Chinese writing. By using one block for each character, they could use the same blocks again and again. In 1234, the Koreans began to make many small metal blocks for printing. This was the beginning of modern printing. The first printing press. Movable metal blocks led to the idea of the first printing machine. It was made by Johann Gutenberg in Germany about 1450. The printing machine was very large, with metal blocks for letters. It was called a press because it pushed the paper very hard onto the letter blocks. It made a very good print and was much faster than writing or printing by hand. The printer's job: to use the machine, arrange the metal letter blocks into words and sentences, put ink on the blocks. Put a piece of paper on top of the blocks. Use the machine to press the paper against the blocks. The power of steam. In 1814, another German named Frederick Koning began selling steam-powered printing presses. The steam power was the same idea that was used in trains, but instead of turning train wheels. The steam power turned the wheels of the printing press. Koning's first customer was the London Times newspaper, which bought two of his machines. With steam power, the printing press could work much faster than before, allowing them to print hundreds or thousands of copies in a few minutes. Giant newspaper machines. Next came rolling printing presses, which put the type onto a cylinder instead of a flat block. That way, the paper could roll through the machine as it was printing. Over time, newspapers began building bigger and bigger presses. They were huge. Some presses could also cut the paper to make the newspapers. Personal printing. In the early 20th century, the mimeograph allowed people to print many copies by using a small machine for the office. 
Before 1940, the first photocopier was developed. These machines were faster than mimeographs and used dry ink. Modern photocopiers are very fast and print very well. Digital Printing The first computer printers were made in 1968. They were called dot matrix because they made letters and pictures from many dots. They were very noisy. Computer printers have gotten better and better over the years. Today, most people have a laser printer at home which can print beautiful full-color pictures. Some bookstores now even have on-demand printers. These machines can make a book in minutes. Any book in any language. <laughs> 3D printing today. 3D printers are machines that print objects. Instead of ink, they can print with plastic, metal, glass, even chocolate. The printing process is slow, but anyone can use it to create exciting objects. If you want to, you can change the design every time you print. 3D printers are now making car parts, building materials, food, even bones and body parts. 3D space travel and the future. The International Space Station is also using 3D printing technology. Scientists use it for research and to make things they need. If we can print tools and objects in space, then we can go far from Earth. Someday, we may use 3D printing to make a base on the Moon or Mars. Looking back, looking ahead. We have come a long way in our adventures with printing from leaving our handprints on cave walls to printing with blocks and stamps. The printing press allowed us to mass produce books, and the advances in technology in the past 200 years have allowed us to print our own materials at home. Now we can print 3D objects too. In the future, we may be able to print whole space stations. Who knows what we'll be able to print next? <laughs> 